Here are a few examples of exponential patterns. As you can see, in the first pattern, each number is being divided by 3 to get the next one, or which is the same thing as multiplying by one third. Multiplication by one third is the same thing as dividing by three. And so that explains why one becomes one third when you divide it by three, which explains why one third divided by three is one ninth. And so you could use that to find the next number in the pattern. 32 to 16, division by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Divided by 2 is 4. And so we could use multiplication by 1 half to get the next number as well. And that explains why 1 divided by 2 is 1 half. And the next number is 1 fourth, so that can help you find the next number there. Over here, the patterns are increasing, not decreasing like this. So we could multiply times the whole number 5 to get the next number in pattern, which can tell if you find that number at the end of that pattern there. And finally here, I'm going to start from right to left, because we could do that also. And since 4 times 4 is 16, and 1 times 4 is 4, I can see that 1 4 times 4 is 1, 1 16 times 4 is 1 4, and 1 64 times 4 is 1 16, which ultimately can help me find what the missing number there is. So I'll let you go ahead and find all those missing numbers.